That's why expect nothing. Because that's why what, how you have been programmed. The church makes you to be zombies. People who don't, we are just like this. No direction. No foundation. No word of God. Which church? Oh, okay. Which church? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ will find you like that. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I have to tell you the truth. Because I love you so dearly. And I know if you truly realize and find out the truth, your suffering will come to an end. Yes. Hallelujah. I said Jesus Christ. And that Jesus. He will come to give us judgment. And the, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, he wants his church to know who he is. Because he is the only way to the Father. Let us go to Revelation quickly. Revelation. 1911. Revelation 1911. I saw heaven standing open. And there before me was a white horse. Whose rider is called Faithful One and True. With justice, he judges and wages war. Wages war. What does this tell you? There will be a day. When you and I will face the judge, the judge who is Jesus Christ. And if we go to Revelation 22, verse 13, verse 13, 22, verse 13. The Bible is saying, I am the Alpha. I'm the Alpha. And the, and, and the Alpha and the Omega. Now Omega. The first. Oh, and the death. And the last. No, the beginning. Omega. And the end. Who are you loving? Who, who are you loving? <laughs> Whom did you fail in love when you are coming to church? What brought you to church? Is it miracles? Is it healing? But the Bible here is telling us Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the Alpha, the Omega, the first, the last, meaning on the last day, it is Him that you are going to face, not what you are looking for, not what the church is looking for. The church should introduce you to Jesus. The church should teach you the word of God. Because the word of God gave birth to what we are looking for. Hallelujah. Amen. The church of Christ should preach and announce the good news and nothing else. 
Good news. Now it's your responsibility to test the spirit. Wherever you find yourself, whether here in this church or in America, wherever, test the spirit. Does this preacher preach the good news? Does this preacher drag me close to Jesus? The message that I'm receiving from this church does it benefit my spirit or my body? My friend, the moment you find messages addressing your body to satisfy your fleshly desire, run for your life. I'm telling you, you are heading straight to hell. The message should address your spirit. It should touch your soul. You should feel remorse. Feel the pain. This preacher is talking about. Hey, I must do something. I, I must stop drinking. Hey, I must leave that boyfriend. I, I will keep him, but no fornication. Hmm? Because you cannot leave your boyfriend. No? Your boyfriend might be your husband. You never know. What is wrong is the act involved. If, if you give him and fornicate, you, you are heading straight to hell. If you die, that is the reality. Unforgiveness. Messages should talk about forgiveness. Repentance. Faithfulness, righteousness. Those are the messages that we should run after. Because 